Okay guys, it's like March 28th. I haven't made a video in a while. I've been sick for the last two weeks. <coughs> oh god, this sinus cold is just driving me crazy. Um, I recently had, uh, like, on the weekend, Sunday, Saturday, I had trouble with my jet pump. So let's go down on, and because I couldn't find anything on the internet how to adjust the points on a jet pump, I was going to show you how real quick. Um, if you guys are into repair videos, let's go down to the dungeon here. Now this might not turn out very good. I got a hot water tank to put in too. Anybody wants to see that? Let's put this light on here. Right now we're in the flood zone. This basement, this house is over 100 years old, so bear with me here. It, uh, there's water everywhere. I gotta take care of that this summer too. Okay, I still got a leak here too. All right, now this is temporary. I have to take this fitting out and then put this one in the block. Anyway, this is your your high pressure setting this will um, sets pressure from this diaphragm here it comes set it uh, puts the pressure in the bottom of the diaphragm and pushes up depending on how there I go depending on how uh, you have your points set it'll either come on or go off at a certain pressure so this is your high pressure this will set it so the, ma the more you tighten it up the more pressure you're going to get. And if you have too tight, it won't shut off. Okay. This is your low kick on pressure setting here on this side. Now, if it gets down too low, you stand the chance of uh, <coughs> doing what I did and uh, running your pump dry for some reason. I think I have the other issues with the foot valve, but we're going to see. Um, so, if you have too low pressure kicking on, the pump is kicking on too low, you want to crack that in and that'll bring it up the the low pressure up and you can see I have a leak here that I'm going to have to address tomorrow um, yeah and to prime your jet pump take this screw at the bottom here and some have screws here but when we installed this about 30 years ago I think it was or 20 I can't remember we put this little thing on the top here so we can dump water directly into it anyway open this up and poke it with a screwdriver because if you live in the country like I do you have hard water buildup, and you're going to get a lot of black crap sulfur probably mainly and we take that screw out take this plug out or in some people's cases this so you're gonna have a hard time with it and fill it up until it comes running out here put that back in tighten that back up and I usually have a couple of valves here close this one out let it pump up um, I'm sorry about the crappy video but we're gonna be uh, doing more stuff soon so hang in there with me <laughs> okay guys talk to you later